Hey guys, this is a quick overview of the Make Block 3 in 1. It's about a hundred dollars and once you've built one of the version you can see it is actually quite large. It's a big robot and it can do tons of stuff. I was actually rather impressed and even though there are a few bumps, if you are know a little bit of software programming and want to know more, this is really something great to learn everything from controlling like software or not, you have the choice, uh, building a little bit something which does more than let's say other brands. So inside the box you will have a manual which explains how to build different robots version, how to the different sensors are working and that is really cool for all the hard website. It gives a brief overview of how to connect the software but not in great detail and everything is well also packed in different sections so you have wheels in one box, in one bit of back, sorry, and you have the screws in another one and those blue parts in a third one etc. So it's well organized and as you can see it's actually quite compact. Then once you've done building your robot and co connecting it, let's see also briefly what you can, what it can do, everything. So you have on this board, you have a bunch of input outputs. You have of course the battery here, but then, let's turn it on, there we go. We have a lot of sensors. You have a microphone, light sensors, you have uh, the Bluetooth here, you have uh, a lot of outputs, so you have lights here, uh, you have the mechanical connected to the those, um, uh, motors, uh, this is a distance meter that is connected to this output, I mean an output, and this one is connected to um, light sensor which detects if it is reflecting light or not so basically black or white and you have also a buzzer so you have really a lot of input output there like I said audio, light, connectivity a bunch of stuff to allow you to do what you want and as you can see they all, like, all turn in a nice little color so here if I unplug it, it turns off and it turns on to show that everything is well connected and uh, also here's a little light sensor you can see that it is changing depending if it is on white on black there are two of them so they are blinking that's on the black and they can be used also to detect if it is on a surface or not now once you've done that and you have that little robot here that's pretty cool but it's not moving as you can see so you get your phone Oh, it works actually pretty much with everything. It works on you have application on Linux, on Microsoft, on Mac, on Android, on iOS, a bit on everything. I will come back on that because there are a few things that work and sometimes they have a bit of rough edge. So since the first version of this video, there was a new update of the MakeBlock app, which improves a lot the connectivity on Android. So, once I start the app, I put it just next to the robot to pair it, and now we're in the new interface. So, here we can start by selecting a few preset uh, program, which, like the most simple one, is like a manual control, with like it's giving some graphs of uh, what it's receiving from the dif dis uh, different meters, and you can use a joystick and so on. So, let's see. So, it's a light, for example, here. Yeah turning the light. There's a little bit of a delay still. Here we can move it around. And uh, so it has a bunch of uh, other things and they are all customizable. If you go here, instead of selecting manual, you have for example the obstacle avoidance where the robot is just going to wander around and just when there is something touching it will at one time turn left at the other time turn right and here's the line following let's do the line following and it's just following that line using the little sensor at the front and this paper is of course provided with a box 
let's see how it's doing also this. So the interesting part here, putting back to manual, is that you can turn on the design mode and there you can actually design what everything is doing. So for example I can go into having some preset buzz button that will actually just turn on the buzzer that is on the device but I can also like customize what it will do like turn in the code and say what everything is doing so here when button pressed play note C5 that's the default behavior and I can change it using the scratch language let's see however the version on uh, laptops. So this works rather well and I'm using here a Chromebook which I really love because those things work really well and have really good backup. Sorry, changing topic here. So here we are, we are connected via a USB cable. At the moment there is nothing else that works so Bluetooth is not working and I didn't get the Wi-Fi kit, but it's written that it's not supported. There are two applications here that do uh, work for Mblock. There is the uh, Mblock Chrome app and there is the um, Block uh, Scratch X, which also works. So let me change here to English. They have different languages. They have the full like way of uh, setting what you want to do, all the control input output. So here I can just play a tone. So I just did when I press start, play a tone, I press start, and sorry, didn't connect because I need to connect again. Connect USB. There we go. Yep. So it makes a little beep. Let's play a tone. Let's do something else. Let's just uh, do some action, like some motion. Preset motions. I'm really, really basic here. So I'm just like turning right for that's 500 degrees, will be about a right turn. And then waiting a bit until it finishes that first action. Then going a bit forward. Again, waiting until it finished, and then stopping. So, here, if I press play, it will turn right and go forward. So, going to press play, three, two, one, go. Turn right and go forward. Turn right and go forward. That's it. So, that's very basic. Again, you can program almost everything you want here. You can go really advanced. It's a full Turing pro complete programming language with like you can see scratch everywhere. So this has a robot extensions that on both applications are the same, exactly the same, and the rest is just standard scratch where you can set all the if, when, loop, detect, so on, use all the sensors, everything. Another really cool thing about this, outside of having three different versions, that's just one of them is that you can also have a bunch of extension of other devices you can move things however you want and rearrange so you have a lot of opportunity of tinkering and that's really cool so on the good side I think it's really cool for tinkering for learning how to build things programming all end to end and you can do stuff that I really wish in some way I could do at that age on the downside, I would say that the issue with this is that you don't have, like a connectivity is really not working that well. You have a lot of various different tools that you can install, like different applications. Not all are working or you may need some other driver or something. So it's not well rounded up on that side. I would really hope that they have one hold of a few one or two software that run everywhere really well uh, good side is well it works on also most weirdest hardware almost so I tried on Linux it works again with a cable and works on Chromebook works on Windows tried that as well 
uh, works on Android and so on so for that price I think it's really cool just enjoy